Gentlemen, would you talk about the uh, matchup with Harper and, and how that got you going? Uh, yeah, uh, you know, I took a I took a official visit there, uh, Rutgers, back in like my junior year. I'm good. I became good friends with Ron, so and uh, I know he's a great player. Uh, coach has been on me for a while now, talking about Harper, Harper, Harper. Uh, you know, he's who are we gonna put on him? Who are we gonna put on him? Uh, but you know, I, I took the challenge. I think I did a pretty good job tonight. Uh, it, it was just exciting to know, you know, we're, we're real cool with each other. But, you know, I accepted the matchup and, you know, we came out with a win, so I'm happy. Coleman, uh, Coach talked about how you can be an elite defender. Um, how much are you kind of settling into that or what's the process of kind of figuring out how to be that? Um, I think just bringing energy and just going 100% every, every, every trip. Uh, sometimes, you know, I catch myself on film, kind of taking plays off, just relaxing. But I think as long as I'm going 100 percent, you know, I, I think I'm in a good, pretty good position to, you know, play elite defense. Yes, Jake, what was going right for you guys as a team tonight to roll up that score? Um, yeah, I mean, it started off with our defense. Um, coach complimented us on our defense um, after the game and, and the ball was popping. Um, Everybody was getting touches. We were playing, as we call, .5 basketball. Um, w once you grow as a team, it, it just kind of manifests in itself that uh, you start elevating each other and, and playing for one another. And um, that's what you started to see tonight. Jake, what is .5 basketball? Uh, balls popping, like okay. make, make quick decisions, just uh, I don't know another term. Just just move just moving the ball. Point oh. five, like half a second. Gotcha. Uh, Kofi is really you know, passing the ball really well. What does that do when he's being a facilitator, especially with all you shooters? Just pick your poison. I mean, he's a menace uh, in the paint, uh, and then we got menaces out uh, along the three point line. So uh, it's, I feel like it's a tough scout at the end of the day. Coleman, you said you knew Ron Harper coming in. Did that give you a little bit of extra attention? or to detail to want to lock him up as well as you did tonight? Yeah, for sure. Like I said, Coach has been, you know, talking about this uh, for a while now. Like, who's going to stop Ron? I need a forward. You know, Ron's a pro, this, that. And I, I know, you know, Ron's uh, probably one of their best players. Uh, you know, he can really score the ball. He's a great three-point shooter. Uh, and I think, uh, you know, just taking him out the game, uh, I, I feel like they didn't really have any other options. So just locking in on that and – you saw what happened. Got the win. Coleman, talk about, I know they were down one guy, but the Big Ten opener, I mean, it's a big deal for you guys, and you guys have a really good team. Talk about what that means to, this t to the team and for the season. Yeah, uh, we just, you know, kind of like Coach was saying, like make a statement tonight uh, with our defense, show teams that, you know, those, those early games are done. You know, we're basically like 0-0 zero, zero now, like, it's Big Ten now. Uh, it's it's a bloodbath every night, and uh, anybody can beat anybody in this league. So just make a point, uh, make a statement tonight, and show the Big Ten, like, you know, we're, we're back. We're Big Ten champs, and we're back. Jake, do you maybe just feel like you guys were building to this type of performance after kind of stringing those, the three wins together before this? Um, I mean, absolutely. I think this, the season is a, a building process. Um, you learn from, from the previous game and, um, yes, but I, th I think the whole, the whole season, uh, is a, is a staircase. For both of you guys, have you seen Kofi grow as a passer? Was that an emphasis in the off season and how has that kind of progressed for him? Um, I mean, I see him working on it all the time. Um, I know that's his feedback. Um, to to become that that passer out of the paint since he draws so much attention, um, and he's he's finding guys. Uh, so um, I'm I'm thankful for him. I'm I'm happy he's on my team. Uh, for the both of you guys, I imagine that or Coleman more specific. I guess actually for both of you, neither of you guys have played a Big Ten game here with fans. What was it like to be able to feed off the Orange Crush tonight, which was obviously pretty rowdy? Uh, yeah, it's it just makes. I think it makes you more comfortable. You know, I, th I think uh, going on the road 
and playing in front of a, a different crowd, it's like a true like home court advantage. And just being at home with electric fans, you know, crazy fans that love us, uh, I think it just you know makes you feel comfortable, brings you more energy, uh, makes you want to play hard. Question for both of you guys: uh, What does Demonte mean to uh, both of you guys? Uh, Monte's a fighter. He's a dog. Someone asked me this question before, um, but but he he's a do it all guy, f f plug a um, plug elite guy. He uh, it's even it's hard to describe how how um, impactful his, his game is. He just makes so many good plays. He's a vet. He, he knows exactly what he's doing. Um, hard rocking cat. <laughs> um, Monte just does everything. I love Monte. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, my, you know, coach throws him in different positions all the time, uh, and he, he takes up those challenges, uh, guarding different positions. You know, he's super strong. He can guard one through four. Um, but yeah, Monte just, you know, he's a real cool guy on it, like on and off the court. He, you know, he, he's a leader. Uh, and you know, if you're if you're, uh, you know, not doing so well or you're kind of out of it, you know, he he just lets you know, like, hey, let's rock, let's keep going. Uh, and like I said, he's a, he's a great leader, so it means a lot to have him on this team. Hey guys, this is a question for both of you. Uh, Alfonso's been shooting really well to start the season. You guys practice with him all the time. Is like, is this just a hot streak, or is this just uh, who he is? It's legit. That's, That's it him. Is. Every day. Sometimes you know he shoots a shot, you're like, what the? And then it goes in. It's just like that's Alfonso. Jake, this is the most shots you've taken in a game since you came to Illinois, most threes as well. Is that a concerted effort to be more aggressive offensively, or is that just playing within the flow of the game? It's within the flow of the game. It's open. This is for both you guys. I mean, you've got 19 more Big Ten games. So what's the importance of getting number one? Uh, I think, like I said, just like making a statement to teams, uh, sh Showing teams how you know aggressive we are on defense, uh, but you know, uh, you know, one one loss like every every win every loss counts, and it, that was shown last year. So um, just making sure we come out get a win, and like you said, we got 19 more, so we're gonna work hard to try to win all 19. Jake, we've heard Coleman say, make a statement. Have you guys talked about that specifically to come out with this first one and make a statement, or is it just kind of how it unfolded tonight? Um, absolutely. I mean, uh, you know, the narrative is it's is uh, the narrative is itself. You know, we're um, last year Big Ten champs, um, where we were ranked. Everybody's coming for us, target on our back. So I mean, uh, you definitely want to set yourself up um, with that first win, just kind of. Uh, like you said, uh, making a statement, we're here, we're, we are who we are. This is for both of you guys. <clears throat> Talk about what Coach Underwood does to the program. Not only lifts you guys up when you're down, all that. What does he do for you guys to, to keep you guys in a positive mindset? I think he just challenges you. Like, Although sometimes it may seem like mind games, like he kind of just challenges you to bring the best out of you. And I think... Uh, like tonight, you know, just challenging me, saying stuff here and there to me about Ron Harper, Ron Harper, and uh, you know, you know, kind of fueling that fire. So when that moment comes, you know, I I can perform and and uh, act on what he's been saying, and you know, kind of proving him wrong in a way because he's always saying something to you know, kind of get you fired up, and it might not always be like a positive thing, but uh, just kind of fuel, like I said, fueling the fire. This is for either of you guys. Obviously, fell out of the top 25 before this week, responded with two of probably your stronger wins of the season thus far. Was that any added motivation this week? Um, I mean, it's there, but uh, rankings and all that is, 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 in my eyes, media output is just a number next to somebody's team. Um, so it's really just about us and, and every single every single day, all the drills we do in practice and competing and, and all that stuff that, that, that counts more than that. I guess, Coleman, with, with this you know whole, obviously you guys won the Big Ten tournament last year and the we are who we are. What, what's the balance, I guess, because we've also heard you guys talk about like wanting to turn the page into this season. I guess, how do you kind of mix those two thoughts? 
Uh, I'm like, can you, yeah, can you describe, like, I'm just kind of. I mean, we heard you guys talk about wanting to turn the page from last season after what you had, but also the reality is that you guys did have a really successful Big Ten season. Like, how do you blend those two ideas and, and not get too hung up either way? Yeah, just kind of stand on business, you know. We have the saying, one more, uh, you know, one more this, one more that, uh, one more win. And uh, we want to get, you know, one more Big Ten championship. And uh, just standing on business, uh, working hard, showing teams what we do, doing what we do. And like I said, standing on business, that's that's all we can do. Jake, did, did you guys see some opportunities uh, in the scouting report to get some open looks from three against this team? and uh, Or is that something that just happened uh, in the flow of the game? Um, I don't like giving away scouting reports. Um, but I will say that we had a game plan, and we executed it uh, very well. Um, and and teams will, will always, uh, or the next game we'll have is going to be different than this game. Um, so I'm not going to answer that question specifically, but um, I'll say that we executed our game plan. Well, it's nice to be 1-0. Oh. Um, really um, um, pleased with our veteran leadership. Um, it's it's different. It's it's really different. Uh, Big Ten play. It's it's got a different attitude in the locker room. It's got a different attitude in practice. Uh, it's got a different intensity. Um, I thought our veterans, um, Kofi, Demonte, uh, Trent, uh, Jake. I thought those guys were incredible um, this week in practice, leading into this and 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 identifying what uh, what the right what the right intensity level is and, and what this is about uh, in Big Ten play. Uh, now we got 19 more of them. Uh, but uh, I will start tonight with Coleman Hawkins. Um, when I envision Coleman, tonight's kind of it. Uh, I think he's an elite defender. Uh, he, he took on the challenge of, of one of the best players in this league and a guy who has really given us problems in the past and Ron Harper Jr. Uh, made it for a very, very difficult night for him. Uh, and then I thought that set the tone. Uh, I thought our other guys flew around. We competed. Uh, we didn't give them anything easy outside of a couple transition baskets. And then we gave them two threes off offensive rebounds, which uh, uh, we can't do. But uh, uh, I, Omar Payne, I was extremely pleased with his minutes tonight. A uh, guy that didn't score a basket. Uh, but had seven rebounds and and impacted the game in a lot of ways with his shot blocking, with his rebounding. Been really challenging Omar uh, to do those things. Uh, and tonight was a night that um, you know he 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 stepped up to that challenge and, and against a team that we knew plays extremely hard and and is and is can can really get after you on the glass in their own right. Okay, Ben's got the <coughs> microphone. Let's start with <coughs> Jeremy and then Scott. Brett, I know you've said Coleman can be an elite defender. Uh, it seems like you've challenged him in some games where he might not be very good on that end. So what's that process been like between you two of getting him to buy into that role? You ever seen two Rams? It's what it's felt like, to be very honest with you at times. Uh, I love Coleman. And I think he got off to a good, really good start. And and I but I do think there 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 was some humbling, and and some understanding and and now he's, man he's been so good in practice. I mean just so good. His focus has been really good. Um, he he's been really conscientious on the offensive end as well. But um, no one believes in Coleman more than I do, and no one. And I mean I, his 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 ability to be a, an elite two way player. Um, is there and uh, you know it's focus and it's 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 staying um, dialed in, not relaxing, and and that that comes with maturity and experience, and he's 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 growing there. Scott, well, Coleman mentioned that he kind of treated tonight as an opportunity to make a statement, perhaps. Just and what do you think this team maybe said about what they can do with seems like a maybe the most complete game? Of the well, game? I. I we're getting better. I mean, there's no doubt we're getting better. I, I, and we're, we're, 
you know, we're slowly identifying roles and what those are looking like. We're, 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 we're moving the ball much better. I mean, 19 assists, 10 turnovers on the offensive side. We, we have an idea where we're going with the ball. Um, and, and yet, you know, defensively, you know, one of the things I was really upset with in the Notre Dame game was I felt like that should have been a 25-point game. And we had it to 16, and, and we'd had some leads earlier in the year in games, and, and we just didn't step on people. Uh, and we, that starts at the defensive end. And so we've talked about that. And I think that's maybe the statement those guys were, 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 were talking about. We're trying to, to, to have that killer instinct and uh, not have it be because we make threes, we make shots. Make it because we're stopping people and we're doing that. Coach, Coleman talked about how you're pretty good at kind of pushing buttons and challenging them and doing different things. Good to know. How much did you do that in the past week and trying to get him to defend Ron Harper Jr., a guy that you said has hurt you guys in the past? Well, I told him, I told him that uh, Ron Harper goes to, goes to bed every night and he envisions Coleman Hawkins in a pink tutu. <laughs> With, and I mean that. I said that because last year he had his way with him. He just literally, it was, it was easy. He just had him on skates. He just put him in and he, he, they, he ran whatever he wanted. He, he went to their place. He had, I don't know, 28 or 30, whatever it was, and, and he had no chance. And so, you know, if I pushed his button with a pink tutu, I couldn't find one triple X. I was going to show up in it one day, but. Tyler. Oh. Yeah, Coach, uh, looks like they shot, the, I mean, they got a few, uh, Three pointers, but uh, 14 and 51 was at 27 percent on twos, and we mentioned how how good uh, Coleman was on Ron Harper. What else did you guys do to limit their effectiveness from uh, two point range? Well, we kept him out of the paint with post ups. You know, I think that's one of the things that, that they've had a tremendous amount of success with in their games is being able to post Jalen Jones, been able to post McConnell, um, being able to 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 get guys that uh, maybe have a matchup because of size. Uh, and be very effective there. I thought we did a really good job of, of taking some of that away. Um, you know, Kofi was, was a big part of that defensively with his presence and, and clogging the paint. Um, and again, a team that hasn't shot the ball extremely well from three. We weren't, wasn't at the top of our list. Now that'll all change when they get Geo back. But, um, but again, I thought we did a good job of keeping them out of those post ups and out of the paint and then not giving them second chance points for the most part. Coach, we, we heard about Alfonso Plummer and his shooting and his three-point shooting, but perhaps the most impressive thing about him has been not just that he's a shooter, but his floor game, his ability to put the ball on the floor, get to the rim, finish. Is that a little bit of a surprise to you when, from when you recruited him back in the spring? Yeah. Um, I mean, he was a point guard at one point in his career. I mean, you know, everybody kind of falls into that cliche that, well, you're small, so you got to play the point. And, and so he has that. Um, and and again, it's it's kind of the 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 weighing the scales. You know, do, do you want the ball in his hand all the time, or do you want him coming off screens, which he's elite at? Um, so he he's grown with that. You saw us tonight run a couple actions actually with him on the ball. Uh, he's very good at getting downhill. Uh, we do a drill every day where we we have our bigs and have our, all of our guys jump straight up in the air and not foul. And Plummer goes at him. And he finishes at a really an alarmingly high rate. And so we're really comfortable with him around the rim. He gets the ball off. And, uh, but yeah, to, to answer your question, I think that's something we got to experiment a little more with. I know you've talked a lot about turning the page from what was last year, but the guys kind of talked about wanting to maybe issue a reminder of this is who we are. I mean, has that been a topic you've brought up, or is that something that kind of <coughs> come to on their own is, is there anything there no I think it's them I, I think it's more them I, I I'm, I'm trying to really dial in on on this team and not get so wrapped up in um, you know last year even even though they know you know we we had a couple slip ups last year we felt like and they're 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 consci conscientious of that they know we haven't won in Iowa City they're conscientious of that they um, you know that's the first thing DeMonte and Trent talked about after the game you know we haven't won there um, so it, you know, but it's a um, um, every season's got its own identity, and and those, the, but but if those guys talk about it and share that with the new guys, I'm cool with that.
Coach, that was that was probably the most we've seen Kofi pass out of the post in a single game, kicking it back out. Obviously, that was part of the game plan. But is how how big of a step is that for him to add that, and and what's it do for your offense? Yeah, it's so unbelievable maturity. You know, I mean, that's one of the things that happens when you're a junior. You know, you just grow into the understanding of the game, and the game slows down. And um, I mean, he is literally giddy about passing the ball out of there. And, and and seeing guys make baskets, you know, he was killing Jake, you know, at the end when they threw it back and forth and Jake missed one. And, and you know, he's talking about, well, you blew my assist, you know, and, and that's the fun stuff that comes from passing. And if you want to, if you want to go do that with Kofi, okay. You know, he's proven now that, you know, and I think the one thing we feel comfortable about is we've got some really, really good shooters and we're going to take our opportunities from there. How much more tonight did you have in the, the hockey assist, the pass back out led to multiple passes, ball movement like that? So we have a saying, 0.5. We want the ball to be in your hand 0.5 seconds. We don't want it to stick. And we practice that a lot. And, and it's on the board before every game. And, and that means you have to see the play before it actually happens. So it doesn't, you know, if it's the pass to Kofi or if it's the next open guy. Um, that's when basketball gets really good and really fun, and our guys are starting to buy into that and and that unselfishness and and not not uh, not care who scores it, uh, but uh, know it's all for the good of Illinois basketball. Trent didn't score in the first half, but I think he had like three straight assists to Jake. What does his off ball work just mean to the team? And when he's not scoring, what does that give you guys? Yeah, if you if you ever ask me to put a put a importance or a, on, on Trent Frazier, whether he makes baskets or not, I don't care. And, and Trent, you know, Trent's hardly practicing, you know, with, we, he's very, very limited in practice. So Trent hasn't been in the gym getting shots. And, uh, you know, I told him before the game, I told him at halftime, excuse me, I said, just follow through, you know, you're, you're kind of getting a little jerky with, you know, just follow through, that'll go in. Um, but, uh, you know, here's a guy fighting through some shoulders, some knee. Um, he moved better, I thought, today than I've seen him. And um, yet all he does is all he does is figure out a way to guard the other guy's best player and help us win, whether it's passing. I mean, he was coaching the timeouts at the end of the game. He was coaching them. We don't need layups. We don't need this. We, we need time. And, and just literally coaching them. And that's, to me, that's music to my ears. Coach, I, Coach, I thought um, Jacob Grandison had a really good start to the, uh, the first half. Could you talk about that importance and how he got you guys out to that hard start? Yeah, it's back-to-back -back games. Um, you know, Jake's Jake's just been a uh, – he's an elite shooter. Um, I mean, an elite shooter. He's got a super quick release. He's a great connector in our offense. Um, and, and, again, he just gives you a, a, an – he gives you an – a, a burst coming off the bench. We know what we're getting now. We're starting to define those roles, and uh, Jake is um, Jake's been instrumental in that. And 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 uh, you know I think Luke is stepping into some of those things as well. And um, so I'm starting to feel really comfortable with with where those guys are at. <coughs> Coach, could you talk a little bit more about the the kind of the blue collar gritty stuff that you saw? Like you mentioned, no more pain coming off the bench. Coleman's defense. Are you there yet as, as far as the toughness and the grit that you want to see? Oh, no, 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 no. Well, I saw a couple guys get inside and rebound, and um, we missed some crackdowns, but we're making progress. And, uh, and you know, not, and I'll be very honest, Doug, I, I mean, are we ever going to be tough enough? Not in my world, but um, but we're getting there. We, we, we've got to find the gritty plays. We've got to find the – you know, I was really proud of that it was a no-call. Kofi tried taking another charge and stood in there. And, and those are the little things that impact winning at a really high level. And, and we're, we're getting there. We're starting to understand them. Rob? <coughs> we, know, <clears throat> we know you don't read our stuff or follow social media, but if you were to find out that a hashtag, I support Bello, had universally taken over Illini social media, how would that make you feel? Yeah, it's what the best fan base in the country should do. There's you know, a young guy that's going through some 
some some some things and that's that's pretty cool man that's that's what this thing is about they're they're they're, they're not pros they're collegiate collegiate student athletes and you know know that know that people care about you not for the player not for the just because you win or a basketball game but because you're a human being and and you're part of us and you're part of our family that's pretty cool man i like that it sounded as if maybe you had put the Ron Harper bug in Coleman's ear before maybe you started scouting, particularly for this game. Do you remember when you first kind of challenged him with that particular matchup? Day after last game of I don't I don't know I don't, I really don't know I he's a really good player I think he's a, one of the hard guards in our league and um, again I think those those are. Those are the things that that I envision with Coleman is being able to challenge guys at that position, and I don't care if they're six eight and lanky or or six six and two forty like he is. I just he, he's smart, he's IQ, he's length, he's 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 got all the tools to be elite, and, and um, I was I was happy to see that. You've got, I mean, how healthy are you? you? Got RJ with the ankle. You got the guys coming off the flu. How healthy are you tonight? Some of these guys, you know, had been playing more minutes, playing fewer minutes tonight. What's your status? Yeah, I mean, yesterday was the first day we've seen Hutch in five days. Um, you know, RJ's still got a little gimp in his, and a little swelling in his ankle. Um, he, he's gotten through it on the court, but. Uh, we're not. I don't know. Seventy-five, eighty percent. Demonte still. You know, you can't. You can't take Demonte out the court. Demonte will not come off the court, and he will not miss practice. And he has not felt good. Uh, but, but he's still not. He's still not good either. I mean, he's getting closer. Anything else? All right. Next, Thank you. Uh,